Hey, what's up folks? It is Ty, and I'm gonna show you how to turn that achy breaky big mistakey into a flawless cascading Kentucky waterfall. So to get started, I wash, towel dry, and then brush my hair. And here's the thing, folks, this is really important. For some reason, a lot of guys just don't use conditioner. I don't know why. At some point, we just stopped teaching men half of the process of washing their hair. But you gotta give that Tennessee top hat the tender love and care it deserves. And that means using conditioner when you wash your hair. While we're on the topic of self-care, I wanna take a second to shout out our sponsor, Lumen, the men's wellness brand that delivers high quality, easy to use skincare products directly to your door at an affordable price. For a limited time, they're offering my subscribers a free trial of their tailored routine sets, which I love because they take the guesswork out of making a skincare routine. The sets are curated by experts and they come with everything based on your personal skincare needs. I'm using the classic maintenance set, which comes with the charcoal cleanser, exfoliating rub, and moisturizer balm. I really appreciate how simple and straightforward the whole process is. And let me tell you, I feel like a new man after I scrub and deep clean all of that grime and grease out of my testosterone ridden pores. Uh, but really, it leaves my skin feeling smooth and refreshed, and I'm happy knowing that their products are cruelty free. So fellas, if you're ready to start taking care of your skin, click the link in the description to build your skincare routine and look your best ever with a tailored free trial of Lumen skincare sets. Just pay shipping. Now it's time to start styling up that Camaro crash helmet. And I begin by applying some light styling product, mostly to the party section <laughs> of the hair. Here I've got some curl cream. I'm using this because I got it for free and it works well, but you could use any kind of light hold styling gel or mousse or cream or even leave-in conditioner. With my hair still damp, I flip my head forward and I run my fingers through my hair, shake it all out, get it all separated, and I just work that product in and I scrunch as I'm going because I have curly hair. But even if your hair is straight, you just want to run your fingers through, get that product in there and style it kind of how you want it. And the trick here is to use the right amount. You don't want to use too much and get your hair crispy or oily, but you want to use enough so that it's not all dry and frizzy. And after I've put like the bulk of it in the back of my hair, I'll kind of run my hands through the top a little bit, but I only do that once it feels like I really don't have anything left on my hands because you don't want to overdo the product on the top or you're gonna look slimy. Next, I blow dry the top and I'll use my fingers or the brush to like push and style my hair in the direction that I wanna go as I'm drying it. And then I do the back, pretty much same idea. Since my hair is curly, I just scrunch those curls up and then hit them with the blow dryer. And finally, I bring the business to the business. For the top, I'm using this pomade from Sebman because I got it for free. This is perfect for the style that I'm going for, but whatever you use is just gonna depend on what you got going on up there. Just take a little bit of that, run it through, put everything where I want it. I like it to all flow back, but in the front here, I like a little side part. And of course I got the signature curl going on. Feel free to add your own creative touch to that. And if you've had short hair in the past, it's basically just styling the top how you used to style your hair. Uh, and then kind of just making that flow into <laughs> the rest of what you got going on. If it's looking a little flat, I'll spray the roots and uh, zhuzh with my fingers, kind of tease it a little bit give it some body. I'm using this hairspray by Sebman that I got for free. I don't have a strong preference on hairspray, but if I had to pick, I would always choose the free kind. And then spray it all into place, do another once over. If the party is looking a little dry, a little frizzy, I'll go back over that with just a little bit of that light styling product. It's really imperative here that you don't go too heavy with that once it's dry, because that'll really end up making you look greasy. And once everything looks good, I might hit it with just a tiny bit a spray on the sides, just a little bit to lock it all in there. And I'm ready to roll. So there you have it, folks. Don't forget. If you want to rock the mullet, you got to respect the mullet. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.